Hi, it's Ron McTube. Today on Kolowa the Angler, we're going after Big Larry in this week's location. We'll go over that in a minute and what tackle I'm using. I've joined the multiplayer lobby. This week's been really entertaining. We've had a new patch, 1.3.2. Fixed loads of issues, tweaked loads of things. Really good. And I'm hoping this is Big Larry right now. I'm guessing it is because we've got the big tackle on, we've got cheese on, and he's running like a freight train. You never know where Big Larry is going to be. I've noticed when I've had Big Larry before, that when I've had him in open water, it seems to fight a bit harder. I don't know why that is. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's deeper and he's got more to go about, uh, more water to sort of swim in. But under the bridge, where I've caught him a few times before, in the previous video, for example, he doesn't seem to fight as hard as in open water. So we'll see how that goes. But if you look at my bar on my drag, I've got it so it goes around to about three quarters on the red. Ideally, that's where you want to keep it. How's your fishing been going this week? The new patch has been really good. Uh, fixed a few things. The sunfish mission, which everyone's struggling on. For most people, it's fixed. I know a few people I've seen uh, are still not able to catch it. I actually went there the other day, right? No, I wasn't even doing the mission. And the very first fish, because I was fishing for perch there, diamond perch, the very first fish I caught was a gold sunfish. I'm not going to lie, honestly. On a seven hook and blood worm. So if you're doing that mission, that's what you want to do. Seven hook, blood worm. But yeah, apparently that location for that gold sunfish, right, is superb for diamond perch. So that's why I was there. I was trying to catch diamond perch. Might do a video on it. I caught loads of golds there, but I didn't get a diamond. So I'll stick at that. I'm still after that diamond muskie as well. Um... It's almost like a curse of them, but they are super tough. They're one of the hardest diamond fishes to get, the, the tiger muskie. And uh, I'll keep at it. I've been using either minnow with two hooks for them, or I've been using a swim bait number two as well. And, and they're both getting the golds. It's just I'm not getting the diamonds. So, fingers crossed, we'll get one soon. So, Big Larry is getting out to about 50 metres now. I'm hoping we can slow him down a bit. Don't worry if you get your line peeled off and... They're still going. Basically, all you're trying to do at this sort of stage of the fight um, is just tire the fish out. Try and get his head up, keep your rod up, and then when it starts locking off a bit, you know you're sort of getting him a bit tired. And then you start gaining line. Drop your rod down, reeling fast, back up, hold. And like I said, once he starts coming in a bit, you'll see your line retrieving. You know you're sort of winning the battle. They may get a second win, though. Legendaries do do this, and... Uh, I've been stripped a couple of times when I've had him literally five meters from getting them and then gone all the way out and snapped me. I don't know why that is. Sometimes they must be a bit more energetic than normal. <laughs> They've had the wheat of X, but uh, yeah, sometimes they do have that second wind. So you've got to be aware of that. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you get them in quite easy and you're like, that wasn't even that hard a fight. But sometimes they don't. And that's the thing. You never know which one's going to turn up, how it's going to turn up. And it makes it interesting with playing the fish. Aside from fishing on Colorado the Angler, this week's been very busy for the Hunter Colorado. I don't know if you've seen my videos for it, but I have been covering the Ambusher Pack and Cosmetics DLC. Covering all the items in it, and it's amazing. I can't believe how good this DLC is. Uh, I've tried all the items out, and they all work remarkably well. I was quite surprised. When there's a new DLC out, I test them all. And I hope for one item that is what I use basically whenever I hunt. And if there's one of those items out of the pack, the DLC, which I normally use, then I, I deem it worthy. Everything in the pack is amazing. And uh, if you see the videos, you'll know what I mean. But check them out if you've already seen them. But back to fishing. Big Larry is coming in, hopefully. We're in multiplayer as well. Multiplayer is good because you can jump from server to server and it can be different each time. So if you're struggling and you can't get a bite for like Big Larry or a Legendary, you can go to another server and you might get him like straight away, you might not do. It's sort of good. You can join other people. I'm sure we'll see other people come round as we're fishing actually right now. Uh, I have seen one guy who's fishing outside of me a minute ago. And you can often, it can actually help because if you're not sure where to fish, some guy might be catching lots of fish. If you look in the chat and you see they're pulling fish out, then obviously you look on the map location where he is, and then you can go there, and then so it does help actually. <laughs> Just as said that here, we've got a guy running around the other side of the bank. I don't know if he's fishing for Big Larry. It looks like he's fishing in this bay. But we're hopefully going to get him in. He's coming in slowly. 
Just gathering a bit of line at a time. Don't worry if you only get a little bit, even if it's a few inches at a time. You've just got to gradually break him down. It's quite a battle, a big Larry. What legendaries would you like to see next? What reserves would you like to see next? I've seen so many of the recent comments of where people would like to see. People uh, like tropical places. Uh, England, for example. That's one of my favourites I'd like to see. There's quite a lot of locations we could go. And fishers, types, legendaries. Types of actual fishing. Um, fly fishing. And that's one of my top wants, actually, fly fishing. But... I know it's gonna be absolutely a nightmare. Imagine the line, how it loops around. If you know how fly fishing works, it goes all over the shop. So I can imagine, from a dev's point of view, that must be a nightmare to try and code and, and make it work. Also, what do you think to trade for lodges? Now, how we've currently got Colorado the Angler and releasing fish. Obviously, you wouldn't be ranting them on plaques because you release them. So the only option I can think of, and I've seen other people suggest this, is sort of like an aquarium style trophy lodge now you can go to like sort of sea world type places where they've got one massive aquarium and all the fish are swimming around would you like that and you you know what i mean where you like walk underneath them and you've got like a dome over you and you walk through the tree lodge and all your fish are swimming around maybe that could be cool you could have individual sort of tanks maybe with them in how would you do it let me know what you'd like if you would like a trophy lodge how would you go about it let me know in the comments an interesting concept i think a lot of people would like to see the trophies of what they caught um but i just don't know how you go about it it's quite tricky actually with your releasing the fish would you change that would you make it so you keep certain fish so like a trophy fish and you keep it in a foot like a pack i'm sure there's many ways it could happen but like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments I always have a read from if i see any good ideas I always pass them on to the devs as well whether it's for the hunt call the wild classic or call a wild the angler if i see any good comments and think that could actually work i always pass them on so like i said it's quite important and you never know it may actually come to the game now we've got big larry down to nearly nine meters and this is what i was on about he may strip me he's going out further than when we first hooked him are we going to get him back again this is what i mean you never know you never never know just when I thought I got him, that second wind kicked in. And this is what I was on about with open water. Sometimes some of the legendaries, if they're in open water, not in small pools, uh, they seem to fight a lot harder. But he's definitely giving me some today. And we're going to struggle to get him in. What do you think to having legendaries set to tackle size? So you have to balance your tackle out to fish for them. And it was sort of like an only limit sort of you could go to to fish for them so that would mean if we did that we could have smaller legendaries um but you had to have the right tackle to catch them and obviously you couldn't use op heavy stuff to just yank them in you'd still get a good fight and it could be quite interesting especially for the smaller species and uh, that would open the door to a lot more legendaries being added um, and it just would mean that you couldn't just put on like gear i've got on now to catch in like a, a five pound roach do you know what i mean um, but it could be really interesting like I say imagine you've got like a, a roach legendary and then you just you could only go to like four pound line or like four and a half pound line to get it in and uh, it would be a really good fight to do that quite interesting and then like I say it would open up the door to more content being added like I say let me know in the comments what you think about that legendaries tied to tackle limits speaking of tackle limits it looks like well, Big Larry is definitely testing me today. He's had his Weetabix. He definitely don't want to come in today. I've never had him a fight this hard. Not without losing him. So I don't want to jinx it. But I've said it now. I have never had him fight this hard and keep him on. Like I said, I've had him strip me twice uh, previously when I first started the game. Where he spooled me. On the same gear. Like I said got him right in and then went straight back out could not stop him i let him do it twice and um, i'm hoping this isn't another one we seem to be getting the line back again now so that's a good thing have you ever had it happen let me know in the comments 
any legendaries, you've got him right in, you're like, you can literally see him, like, yes, I've got him, I finally got him, and then it's gone again, and spooled you, let me know in the comments if it's ever happened to you, I've got to say, this has been the longest, I think, legendary fight I've had, I think it is, since Call of the Angler's come out, I think this is the longest fight I've had, of any of the legendaries, even Sidewinder, who is an absolute beast, it's quite annoying as well, I don't like him, <laughs> Me and him are like arch nemesis. I want to fight him. <laughs> on the official Colorado the Angler Discord, we have a bit of a joke about Sidewinder and when he's on that week. And everyone's like, oh, that's it. I'm not catching him. <laughs> because he can be very fussy. I've actually seen him come from my lure side of the boat and just slide by, like troll by, like, nope. <laughs> but I've caught him quite a few times. But he is one of the harder ones to catch. Not just because how big he is. He just seems to be a bit fussier with uh, lures and taking the bait. So we've got a sort of love-hate relationship with Sidewinder. What do you find the hardest legendary to catch? Let me know in the comments. Is it Sidewinder? Is it something else? Have you got like a bogey legendary that you just can't seem to catch no matter what you do? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure everyone's got one. Uh, it might not even be the same as someone else. But I would like to know. We are winning the battle. He seems to be coming in. If I get him into like 10 metres again and he just goes straight back out, I might just cut my line. <laughs> I'm looking now, cut my line, holdy. We won't do that, but he doesn't normally fight this hard. This is probably the hardest fight I've ever had off Big Larry. But we are getting there slowly. Come on. I wonder if he's caught out over there. I've not seen him catch anything. I wonder if he's after Big Larry. If you're watching this video afterwards, let me know. <laughs> I don't mind fishing multiplayer, and if you're in there, say hi. I just jump in random lobbies, see who's about, do a bit of fishing. Hopefully get Big Larry's in. <laughs> we are getting there now, he's slowly tiring. But he's done well today, Big Larry has. I'm not going to lie. He's giving me a run for his money. But it does look like... Well, this is where we've got to be before... And he is past the... Yeah, we're getting him now. Can't see him running again. Fingers crossed. Come on, Big Larry. Get you in. And there we go. So, what an epic battle. That is the hardest, strongest fight Big Larry has ever put on a legendary catfish. Well done, Larry. You gave us a good fight with that one. Caught him on cheese. 1-0 -oh hook. His weight is 29.23 kilos. So what a whopper he is. I would love to try catfish. <laughs> if you've tried catfish, let me know. I know a lot of people down south in America, they uh, do it on barbecues, things like that, and it looks really nice. I'd love to try it. I've never tried it myself. But there we go. Big Larry, the legendary catfish. What a battle. Just going to take a few pictures. So it'll probably be the thumbnail. Then we're going to go over tackle, the location show you where to get him this week legendaries run from thursday to wednesday then there's a day off then they start again thursday and each time they're often at different locations there's two legendaries that run i caught the earlier um legendary early in the week check that video out if you've already seen it and big larry is the one we're doing today this is on till wednesday so you can catch both the legendaries till next wednesday so this is the location we're fishing at you can do it in single player, you can do it in multiplayer like you've just seen me doing it now. Um, this bay, so look where the outpost is, and you see the little bays, it's the third one up. Right, rods and tackle, let's have a look. So this is the rod we're using. This is a reel. We're using 17.50 kilo line, float, 1.0 hook, and cheese. That's what we caught him on today. So have a quick look at the journal before we go, but yeah, it's given me an epic fight today, big uh, Larry. Great fight, really enjoyed it. So we've been playing Call of the Angler. I'm Ron Tube. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.